our time one timer scores. Evgeny Oxenchuko, one T for the right dot, gets his fifth of the year, and the Steelheads take a one nothing lead. Approaching two minutes gone by in the second period. Darren Brady scampers at the right side and across the line, turns it toward the middle. McBride shot, rebound, scores! And off the back door, it's Luke Brown to punch in the loose change. Second straight night with a tally and fifth of the year. And the Steelheads make it one nothing. Drop-off pass attempt. Gets cut off with the back check of Pal Marino. Now it's three on three on the counter rush. The right side, Sean McBride. Dropped off to Marino, the shot. It's denied by a Redmond and punched to the corner. Now Marino gets it on the lead in from Tugnut. In deep behind the net. McBride comes in to swoop around and help out. Comes high up to the blue line. Feeds it left circle. Tugnut's there. Corrals it. Throws it toward the middle and scores! Off his gate and into the net. It's Tugnut with his first of the year. And the Steelers make it 2 nothing. Well, after coming back from injury after really two and a half weeks away, Tugnut with a fortunate bounce is able to find the back of the net with the help of Kyle Marino and Sean McBride. That's McBride's second assist on the night. This one coming at 8.40. Dump from center ice. Chased McBride and Tugnut to the left corner. Tugnut has it wheeling around to the left side area. McBride gets it behind the end line and comes out the other end. The circle back door. Tugnut, the shot scores! Off the crossbar for a second of the night. Have a night, Tugnut. Seal has lead 3 0. You not only get your first pro goal, but you get your first multi goal game of your professional career. And what a heads up play by Sean McBride. McBride gets his third assist of the night on that outlet. And finds it down low and around the wall it comes. Marino finds it, chips it ahead. Here's Sean McBride, shorthanded on a breakaway. He holds, shoots, scores! His first of his ECHL career comes shorthanded and the Steelheads lead 3-0. Just the Steelhead's second short-handed goal of the season, and it's the first ACHL goal for Sean McBride. Ten assists this season. He's been helping everyone else get goals, and now he finally gets his own nice five-hole finish, and South Carolina has to just be disgusted right now. They give up the two early ones, and then they go on the power play, and yep. gets it back to Steve for the left point. He'll walk to the right side. Rear shot scores! Off the tip down low. It's Sean McBride to find one. His second of the year gives the steal at the three to two. Coming back close to another tally of the season. Here he comes again with the lead pass ahead. He's gonna fight with Sean McBride. Back in the steel head defensive end with Logan Nelson. There's firing away as McBride goes now with Nelson. The two still swinging, falling to the ice. Ding, 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 Sean McBride.
Sean McBride will take the face off for Idaho. 159 left in the first. Steelheads get a two minute power play. It's a draw one by the Steelheads is Casey Johnson. Left point will throw it to the side of the net. Idaho centers it. Shot and a score. Six seconds into the power play. The Steelheads have tied up the game as Johnson threw it to the side of the net. And Sean McBride, it might have been a tic-tac-toe situation. Two passes over to McBride at the side of the net, put it away. As the Steelheads with 152 left in the first period have tied it up as both teams have scored a power play goal here in the first period. Sean McBride is going to get the goal, which will be his third of the season. And Casey Johnson, who picked up one assist last night, is probably going to get an assist. Couldn't tell who he threw the pass to. Might have been Kyle Moreno as they threw a fish on the ice, and boy, they threw the fish right near the Grizzlies net as some guy in a fisherman's hat. That looks like one of those floppy hats that he has on. He raises the fish in celebration as he skates off the ice. That fish will lead two to one. Still has about 11 sellouts this season, and they hope to make it 12 tonight. Still has five shots in the second to Utah's one. Still has uh, lead the or Grizzlies still lead the shot count 12 to 11. Still has have it to the left circle, throw it across. Now to the right side for Zeke. He'll fire a shot, and he scores as Chase Zeke goes top shelf to get his second of the game. And it's a power play goal for Idaho. It's their second power play goal of the night. And with 13.59 left in the second period, the Stillheads taking a 3-1 lead. And Chase Zeke, just like he did a few minutes ago, high fives everybody on the Stillheads bench. As he was over on the right circle and just fired a top shelf. Over the head of Cole Keller, over the shoulder, really. Because if it was over his head, it would have been over the crossbar and off the glass. But Chase Zeke, he gets his second of the game. The puck ended up behind the Grizzlies net. Threw it to the right side for Zeke. Kind of a tough angle, but he was able to fit it in there. That's Number 22-20, Steelheads, by the way. Minute 20 remains in the power play. Here's Sean McBride. He's alone. Breakaway. Goes back. Goal and scores. Oh, what a goal by McBride. He dinks it with a drag off the back end. His second shorthanded goal of the year. And it's 6-0. That is just a do-it-yourselfer. Hats off play for Sean McBride. You can't. What can you do? <laughs> Time to go at left point. Feeds it ahead on and McBride will get it in the corner. Oxen Chunk and McBride back and forth. Wrap around attempt. He scores! The stuff and jam in the five hole for McBride. His sixth of the year is 2-0. Another quick chip shot. The face-off sails wide. Zeke and McBride string together. It's a three on one. Zeke right side holding stick check. Drags. He scores! Got through the stick check and put it top shelf. Zeke his ninth of the year and it's 2 0. What a great sequence that was from the Steelheads as they were able to break out into the neutral zone. A great moves there from Zeke, able to finish off after having a defender really draped all over him for most of that one. And a big goal from Zeke helps submit, make the lead bigger for the Steelheads. You talked about how big that sequence was. That started with a little quick chip off the right side to open up McBride. He fed him back and Zeke got through and that stick chuck actually allowed him to get lower in the... And one timer, they score! And pushed in through the back door. Sean McBride winning off the post, just taking it across the line. That's a seventh of the piece of it, but it came wide. Now McBride to Versteen. 
the right side. Christine, now slips into the seat, steps up, looking for a stick, deflected, rebound, pushed, they score! And Sean McBride picks up the loose change off the right post. His second of the night and eighth of the year, and is tied at two. Run pops out, McBride picks it up. DeMarto, one-timer, deflected wide, and McBride, he scores! Sean McBride with the hat-trick goal, stuffs it off a rebound, and the steal has complete the comeback. Five to four in overtime. Flip the pass, Steve. Here's McBride across near side, Zeke, and he fires a wrist shot, he scores. Low. 50 seconds remaining on the side of Central Credit Union power play. Here comes McBride right side. Drop up to Ziki, and at the point it's held in by Versteeg. Just barely is able to tuck it in. And it's kicked around. Ziki to the high slot. McBride in front. Back head and they score! And Kyle Marino roofs it top shelf as he was left by himself. His first on the power play and fourth of the year. And it's a one goal game. Right point holds it, flicks it across the middle, and a fire by McBride goes off the glove of Roderick Swatted. He scores! My goodness, a baseball swing by McBride in the middle of the slot. That's his tenth of the year, and it's one nothing. Call him Robinson Cano, but Sean McBride just. Here's Will Cullen to his left. McCauley has a go, tipped in front. Jim near side, they score! And after a long stay away from points, it's Sean McBride on a knuckler over the pad. That's his third on the power play and 11th of the season, and this game is tied at two. Now near him in the quarter, McBride out into the middle, Probabessis has to recradle it, Jim and they score! And for the second time, Sean McBride off the far post into the goal mouth, his second of the night and 12th of the year, and for the first time, the Steelheads take a 3-2 lead. Sean McBride carries the head, strings it to the right side. Now the Seal has half numbers across to Auger. Shoots one off the glove. They score! Who pushed it in? Was it Mitchell or was it Auger? It looks like it's Auger's first professional goal in his three nights. Nice to have that depth scoring. Uh, I mean, you're not just relying on one guy or two guys or three guys even every night, but I mean, when everyone in the lineup can contribute, uh, it's massive. A uh, big confidence boost for the guys. Scoring throughout this lineup, obviously depth scoring, but that line of White, Demowski, and Merchant through these last four games. You had the goal that got us started there in the second, a sweet to just talking about what you were seeing on that play and what you were looking for as Bucks was sending you that pass. Yeah, I started with Ryder. When he draws, that's what he does. He's whole horror badass. And, uh, and I think Gene will help him get it back there. And, we, you know, we talked about getting that press.